Let's take a look at Mars's history. About 3.7 billion years ago, the planet Mars looked very much like planet Earth today. You could find massive oceans on this planet. It had a thick atmosphere and it was also much warmer. As you know, Mars today is very cold and its atmosphere is almost non-existent. You have a very thin layer nowadays. The era we're talking about, there is a slight chance that living things could have lived on Mars. But unfortunately, the chances of us finding life right now on Mars is quite slim. But if you look at the history of planet Earth, you'll see hundreds of millions of years went by and there was no living thing. Just like the steps and filters that planet Earth went through, where it went from a hell to heaven, why wouldn't Mars go through the same type of eras? In the year 1610, around 400 years ago, Galileo was the first person to talk about Mars and notify it that this is a planet in a solar system. But it took a very long time to actually understand what this type of planet is. We eventually found out in the 20th century when we actually got our hands on proper modern telescopes. This is when we realized that Mars is very close and it's kind of similar to Earth but billions of years ago. Then again, decades go by and finally in the year 2011, Curiosity is the first advanced Mars rover that lands on Mars. Like we said, Curiosity was the first advanced rover and it got us familiar with this unknown planet after many centuries. So if it's true that Mars had a lot of waters on its surface millions of years ago, but why does it look like this right now? Scientists believe even though Mars could have looked like planet Earth right now millions of years ago, what its insides were completely different. After Curiosity, another more advanced Mars rover landed on Mars, called Perseverance. The issues that Curiosity had on Mars, it was solved with Perseverance. The location Perseverance was dropped off was much different than Curiosity. They believe it was a lake bed where it landed at, and its sole focus is to understand the history of Mars, and if there's a chance that living things used to live here. And the best place you can start is at the bottom of a lake. About 4.6 billion years ago, when both planet Earth and Mars were being born in the solar system, they were both a fiery planet. They both have an iron core, and that's why they both had a strong magnetic field. Right now, the magnetic field around planet Earth is much stronger than Mars. And this is the guard or the shield of our planet that doesn't allow unwanted UVs to hit the atmosphere and destroy it. The magnetic field basically captures it and pushes it and smashes it into the pole, creating the auroras we all know and love. But Mars could not hold this magnetic field like planet Earth. It was destroyed millions of years ago. When a planet doesn't have a proper magnetic field in front of its star, it's kind of like removing the shield of a warrior in the battlefield. Scientists believe that 3.7 billion years ago, the magnetic field of Mars was destroyed and this caused the atmosphere of the planet to get destroyed because there was no shield protecting it. But throughout Earth's history, its atmosphere actually got even stronger. Some scientists believe the problem with Mars was that it was small. And when you're a smaller planet, you also have a smaller core. So that iron core cooled off quicker and that made the magnetic field lose its power. When you lose your magnetic field, you slowly destroyed your atmosphere. And when your atmosphere gets destroyed, all life on that planet will slowly perish. All the water gets destroyed and turned into gas. And when there's no atmosphere, it cannot hold it. So it all evaporates into space. 
leaving a dead planet behind. And since there is no atmosphere, there's a chance that the water might turn into ice. When we look at Mars, we see the signatures of the water that are left behind. And this is the reason that scientists come up with the theory that there used to be a lot of water on Mars. Just like we said, most of the water on this planet are destroyed. But there are icy caps on the North and South Pole and they believe that's frozen water. And inside these frozen caps, there is a chance you will find ancient creatures. We are not talking about finding penguins on these poles. We're talking about bacteria or single cell organisms, something very simple. Even finding a single cell organism on Mars is very exciting because this gives us more knowledge that there is a chance of other life on other planets. It will be the first life that will be found outside of planet Earth. And this could show us how many similarities and how many differences different planets can make. Another interesting thing Curiosity found in the year 2018 is that in its very thin atmosphere, they found methane. Methane is a type of gas that can only be produced by living things. So if there's methane gas in Mars's atmosphere, there's a chance that there used to be life here, or there's still life remaining to this day. Scientists also believe that finding life inside the ice is much rarer than finding them in underground water. Earth has underground water pretty much everywhere. That's how wells are made. So why wouldn't there be underground water on Mars? Some scientists even believe that the methane that remains in the atmosphere of Mars is produced by the animals living underground. Most of these things we're telling you are all theories that different scientists around the world came up with. But they come up with these theories with a whole lot of research that came up with decades of gathering information. But they have three theories and one of them is the absolute truth. One is that there was never life on Mars. And number two, there was life on Mars but it went extinct. And three, there was life on Mars and there is still life on Mars. You might say congratulations scientists, you don't say. But saying this is very important because one of these three is 100% true. That's one of the many reasons that these Mars rovers are being sent to Mars. But there are also other scientists in SpaceX and NASA that say we will not figure anything out until humans actually land on the red planet because these machines aren't as sophisticated as the human so they will never figure anything out that could be final. And that's one of the many reasons both SpaceX and NASA want to land on Mars. The Artemis program that is going on right now in NASA is the first step towards going to Mars. They're gonna set a station there, learn how long travel works, and then they will set sail all the way to the red planet. So even if we find a single cell organism on Mars, what will that solve? It will help us in all types of factors, especially the knowledge we have of the universe. It could show us how different life could be on different planets or how similar it could be. Do they have the same type of DNA as the creatures on planet Earth? or are they completely different? This will teach us more about the universe itself rather than Mars. It could also help us in another way. It could show us what the future of planet Earth will be like. Is it going to be like Mars or not? 